Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this ultra thin wireless combo of keyboard and mouse. It's called Jelly Comp. Here we have some more pictures and explanation. Nothing. Yeah, okay, that's it. So let's open the box and see what we get inside. It's only around $30, so if you need something for traveling or yeah, just an extra keypad, then maybe this thing is for you. It's very well uh, packed and, I mean, uh, protected. Uh, we get even instructions. So here we get the mouse as well, also ultra slim. So it's definitely something like uh, to have it for as an extra keyboard for travel or like uh, if you have your holiday home or yeah well I mean you can use it at home I mean it's a full full keyboard with everything with the special function with the numbers pad even with all the nice uh, multimedia functions like speaker uh, off on increase or decrease sound volume home search and so on uh, really a lot of things that's good uh, looks really good so let's take it out of the uh, protection sheet and then see what we get so here you can see everything what we get. I have flipped this over. I will come to that later on. This is of course regarding the battery. Uh, here we get some extra information, warranty notes, product trial program about the company, social media, customer support here as well. If you need that really good for a product, it's always good to have some support on hand so uh, here is the keyboard when we open it in the back we see this receiver it's a 2.4 gigahertz uh, nano wireless receiver which is good so it doesn't uh, really stand out too far I like the nano design so the mouse doesn't have its separate uh, receiver that's good so you get you just need one USB outlet to um, control mouse and keyboard that's good but you need two batteries for each one and they are not included so in total you need four triple uh, a batteries the ones for the mouse are super easy to put in the ones for the keyboard you can't put it in here you have to put it in on the other side and then move it back but no big deal of course as well so for the mouse and the keyboard we have an on off switch that's important so you have to turn it on of course otherwise it won't work so here same thing uh, put it on I have to see that I think this is on yeah okay now we have the light the thing is if you do nothing for about 8 or 10 minutes the keyboard and the mouse will go into standby and yeah save battery of course and yeah according to the instructions you have to press any key for at least three seconds one two three uh, to reactivate the keyboard maybe same thing with the mouse uh, I'm not sure about that we'll find out how this works shouldn't be too difficult the really great thing is we get a two-year warranty on this set and again as you can see it is super small I mean super thin uh, but we don't get any kind of stand there is nothing to elevate the back of the keyboard if you need that then you have to look for something else it has 
for uh, soft rubber feet and it looks like yeah I, I think this should be really stable so yeah definitely uh, super stable so that's absolutely no problem with that the mouse is also super flat you maybe have to get used to this style put it a little bit on the side so you can see that it's really super flat everything is super flat it's good for transportation and yeah if you want to take it in a, a backpack or something like that for travel business whatsoever it's the absolute perfect combination i would say uh, if you need full comfort for uh yeah full office day i don't know if this really fits i mean also the keyboard uh the keys itself or themselves they are rather flat hope you can see that they don't have like an ergonomic shape or something like that i mean i have been typing on something like that on a keyboard of a laptop and it was even a very expensive laptop it was an ibm laptop and i've been working for a long time on something like that and uh, it didn't bother me i got used to that if you really need ergonomic uh, shape of keyboards then maybe it's not for you here we have in the middle uh, we have this wheel it's uh, yeah easy really super easy to scroll if you need if you want to have a lot of resistance uh maybe it's too light it is really super light i mean can be really comfortable definitely so here you have dpi switch which is good i mean definitely for the price for this combo dpi switch i think it's 1200 uh, or 800 1200 1600 something like that you'll find it in the description so that's definitely a good thing and it comes with two year warranty Wow, really nothing to complain about. And so let's see how this really works. I will tell you later on how to, uh, how to uh, type. The thing is, it is rather quiet. Hope you can hear that. So it's not absolutely super quiet but it's rather on the quiet side i would say yeah i mean that's it for now i will now try uh, connect it and try and let you know how it worked for me so i've been working for about half an hour with this keyboard i took my old keyboard away and the mouse and i replaced it with this set and the keyboard actually worked pretty good surprisingly good uh, because it's really flat and i didn't expect that so i didn't have to look down to find something so i found uh, everything intuitively um, yeah what, when I watched uh, or looked down to the keyboard what I noticed is that the function key is a little bit yeah I mean with the blue eye uh, it's not super good visible and what but what more uh, a problem is that I, I don't know if you can change that uh, maybe but the default is actually when you press one of these keys here like for speaker uh, louder or I mean volume up volume down and so on all these multi uh, like uh, these multimedia function keys uh, when you press them without anything they work so I mean of course it's clear uh, they have the white co color whatever thing is white it works without pressing function key so of course it uh, works with volume up and volume down no uh, you don't have to press any additional key which is sometimes good if you i mean do a lot of uh, multimedia things gaming and so on which that's that's probably easier than always having to uh, press the function key but having to press a function key to access the F keys is rather annoying. I haven't seen this uh, at first instance. So it has uh, like the function keys 
or um, you, you I mean only accessible with the F uh, I mean the F keys are only accessible with the F N so the keyboard which I uh, keyboard which I am using has its own dedicated line for the F keys F1 F2 F3 and then it has an additional line for the multimedia keys I could also I mean I had other keyboards which had a similar thing and the multimedia keys accessible with the function keys but the F keys accessible only with the function key that's rather annoying uh, probably you can change that I'm not sure about that but it will be a little bit um, cumbersome probably and what I found also which was a real problem at the beginning the uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, dongle it didn't work on a USB hub so it only worked when I um, plugged it directly into the computer which is weird and not so good of course because yeah, the space usually is limited uh, modern computers or laptops have only two or three USB uh, plugs or USB ports and so if you uh, if there are such things which you only can plug in directly and not in a USB hub that's not so good but uh, I mean it worked somehow but the, the mouse was super slow and not responding really uh, accurately so I, I, I switched directly to the computer and then it worked everything really well mouse was good so far but it's flat for me it's actually too flat and uh, if you have like a, if you have a smaller hand then it won't be a problem if you have a larger hand then it could be a problem over time definitely i don't know how it is to i mean i never had standby it never went in standby uh, at the beginning when i had problem to connect what i did was always uh, yeah turn it on and turn it off here and also same with, same with the mouse but I guess it will work just by pressing a little bit longer on the keyboard to wake it up from standby so for me it would be a decent keyboard let's say for travel if you're looking for something really uh, slim slim mouse slim keyboard maybe for short time but not as a permanent keyboard and mouse so if somebody told me to work for a half day or maybe for a day with this set no problem at all if uh, I went I mean if an, an employer came and told me I have to work on this with this set for the rest of my life I definitely would complain and tell him okay I mean uh, it won't be the same as with another keyboard I'm not saying uh, that I was really slow but maybe you get a little bit more tired and it needs a little bit more attention and I mean it's always difficult to compare with the with your preferred keyboard mouse which you're using since years and you love it really and then you come up with something new and it's not really ergonomic then uh, it's hard to really compete your preferred set uh, and I have been able to work I have done some emails and so and it didn't really bother me but uh, I, I didn't also love it I mean it's far from that so I mean it's thirty dollars it's not super cheap it's not really expensive it's something in the middle so for travel if the price is right for you so why not and definitely you shouldn't have a really large hand uh, maybe rather for females or so teenagers children I don't know yeah maybe and yeah one thing uh, last thing I think the win uh, key was a little bit annoying for me too I was al always looking for the window sign usually a uh, window key uh, I mean at least I was used that the window key has the window sign and not the WIN 
printed on it, but uh, you can get used to that. Apart from that, the layout isn't bad. The spacebar is rather short. Um, yeah, at least compared to the one which I have, there is the, the, the control key is there a little bit shorter, and the uh, enter key sometimes it helps when, when it is a little bit bigger. But um, I was really uh, able to work with that, no problem at all. So, if you still like it, if you want to buy it, you'll find the link to the Amazon listing down below in the descriptions you can order it right from there if you like if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time